What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are heading over to get the M5 towed to BMW and get it diagnosed. A lot of you guys have been helping me out in the comment section. So huge special shout out to all you guys that have been helping me out and just commenting down below and hitting me on Instagram and sending me pictures. A lot of guys saying that probably it could be the fuel level sensor that's bad. Just put some gas in and give it a shot. We gave it a shot. It didn't end up working out. So it is what it is. So we put in the fuel. That didn't fix the issue. The only other thing is I can't really hear that the fuel pump prime. It could be also a fuel pump, but then again, uh, with any other car that had a fuel pump issue would actually throw a fuel pump code. So uh, I don't really know if it is a fuel pump or not. And a fuel pump costs $500. So we are gonna be towing down to BMW, just have them fully diagnose the car and they should be able to find out the issue and just you know do their regular diagnostics. The code is coming back for a crankshaft sensor. We put in already a new sensor and we checked that we cleaned out everything. I checked for voltage, everything is there. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a wiring issue, coding issue, or a transmission issue. So it's gonna be one of those. I'm hoping it's not gonna be a transmission issue, guys. Pray for me down below. So at this point, guys, let's head back to the house. We do have to take off a few things before we actually get the car towed away. I would get my own trailer. We do have our own truck, but it doesn't even start. So it's gonna be, be kind of hard to push it on a trailer on my own. I don't even think that's possible. So I'll check back with you guys when we're at my dad's place. All right, guys, so we just made it back home. We have pretty much the whole car put together other than the front hood, and it looks like someone uh, literally took a dump on it. So we're gonna have to clean that off as well. But other than that, the car is pretty much ready to be towed away. The only other issue is the trunk. So the trunk, this one is not actually properly wired in um, so maybe uh, we might have to take it off when it's at BMW or might leave it on the car I'm not really too sure what the plan is I just realized also that the plates are actually on the trunk so we might actually have to leave the trunk on the car man I did not actually think of that okay well, you know what we're actually gonna leave the trunk on the car so we're just gonna actually wait for them to come take the car as it sits and hopefully once the tow truck actually comes and picks it up we're gonna be following it down to BMW and telling them what we've actually done to it which is the crankshaft sensor and you know trying our other attempts obviously it's probably better to tell BMW that a shop took care of it not yourself so you know they don't actually uh, you know pick on your words but anywho I'm just finally excited to finally take this down thing down to BMW and hopefully hopefully they find the issue because they charge 210 an hour for diagnostic they said pretty much we, we always they always end up finding the issue within an hour or two um, so two hours will end up being $420 but I mean end of the day that would be worth it if the issue is like a major issue like an electrical issue or the transmission or something and they can actually fully diagnose it and find that's the issue then it's kind of worth paying that up front so you don't actually have to go through all the work replacing a bunch of other things and that was an actual issue it turned out it was a transmission and you know Meantime guys, we do have the 7 Series. A lot of you guys have been telling me to sell this one and put the money into the M5. Uh, still, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know the plans for this exactly. My main goal obviously is to just make sure everything is working properly and just rebuilding it to like completion. So this thing obviously was a hoop to when we got it and we literally bundled up every little thing like even just wheel guards and all the interior parts. Like we really transformed this car. So I really want to see it through and just finish it entirely. But I do need to get my things out of that car, put it in the trunk and then follow AAA. So let me just get my stuff out of the car real quick. All right guys, the tow truck is fine. Finally here, let's go ahead and load her up. He's saying it's too low. He doesn't want to tow it. <laughs> Come on, please God. We gon' make it beaches, stay in there. Alright guys, car in the trailer, we are good to go. <laughs> guys, it looks so good right here. I really hope to God they can figure it out. And also, it has a major oil leak. I think I'm gonna ask them where this oil leak is like it's really 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 bad we're unloading it right here so it makes it easy for them to actually be able to access it because they need to push it in there and just start working on it because unfortunately it doesn't drive that's our biggest issue i did also bring the sensors just in case they ask us about them but uh hopefully hopefully they'll be able to figure it out and they don't need the sensors and uh, hopefully it's some kind of thing like a fuel pump not a transmission or a clutch or something like that All right, guys, just spoke with Bob. Huge shout out to him. Really cool guy. So, yeah, I mean, a bunch of nice cars over here. M2 and M4 just launched off and also an M3. Um, so, yeah, the M5 is pretty much officially dropped off at BMW. We are going to be taking it down to SSR Performance to get other major things done. 
but according to their mechanic and they're, they're like the mechanics that stay here um, that have been here for 20 years, he literally just came up to the car. He's like, okay, so it's throwing a crankshaft code and uh, it's just not starting. So typically when a car doesn't start and it's, and it's throwing a crankshaft code, crankshafts are connected to the transmission. It could be a, a, like a transmission failure, um, a clutch, a, uh, a something maybe with the SMG pump. So it looks like it is a, a transmission issue, which I honestly figure, this is a, his diagnostic just from looking at it. So that's why I brought it here because honestly, they know what they're talking about and it just barely took them any time to really just tell me that, which I really wanted to hear because I don't want to bring it here obviously and they tell me, oh, it's a fuel pump, oh, you're low on gas. It's, you know, obviously it's a bigger situation than it is and uh, the previous owner did tell me he replaced the clutch. Maybe it was installed wrong. So I did give him all that information. It is a clean title, thankfully, because the first thing they told us, um, is it a salvage title? And they said, if it's a salvage title, uh, we will not look at it. It is a clean title, thankfully. So uh, they are going to be looking at it and then uh, we should be good. Without further ado, let's go ahead and head out and um, hopefully, hopefully we'll get a call back later today. If it's something they can figure out instantly. If not, they said it'll probably give you a call tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, or possibly even after tomorrow if they're still trying to figure out the issue. What's cool about BMW is that they say um, they charge by the hour, but typically they don't look at it for an hour. They say 210 and we looked at it two hours and 420. Basically how it works is they're going to look at it. They're going to try to diagnose it. And they're going to, you know, pretty much much charge me 210 even if it takes them a few hours they're doing a little bit of research and stuff like that like they're not actually going to charge us exactly by the hour but if it's taken like a long drive to drop the transmission and look at the clutches and all that stuff um, they're obviously going to charge more for a diagnostic because they're getting more into depth so that's how bmw works and uh, i honestly respect that i mean other shops they literally charge by the hour and say okay well i did research and i did this i did that and they only charge 120 an hour but they said oh i spent like four or five hours on it and you're in it five six hundred dollars um with them so honestly 300 or, or like 400 500 600 dollars here at bmw for a diagnostic will probably get us 100 percent figured out what the issue is and we're in it in the car not so much so uh it, it's worth putting that money into it hopefully figuring it out and then hopefully once we get all that stuff situated and the car actually drives we're gonna be doing the rest of the maintenance because uh you guys said that you guys saw in the oil in the last video uh, a little bit of shards from like the, the raw bearings and whatnot so the previous owner said he did the raw bearings as well and i you know at, at this point you guys saw the oil doesn't look like it so it looks like you might actually have to do the raw bearings again as well let's just go ahead and get home see how much all that stuff is for the raw bearings and everything and see how much it's probably going to cost us to get that stuff done on the car obviously with uh with the v10s there's more rod bearings there's more bolts bigger pan more things to get out of the way so it's probably going to cost me more than i did for the the, the e92 m3 the e92 m3 i think i spent about 3600 um so i'm expecting to pay anywhere 4500 to get the m5 done but obviously that's preventative maintenance is a lot of money and i don't want to spend that until we know for sure that it's a transmission if some uh, and whatever it is as long as we fix it the car can start and it drives and it's good and then once we got all that stuff done uh we'll look into other repairs and preventive maintenance to make sure this thing can last forever because you guys see your boy even with the seven series no matter what it is guys we are gonna save it hopefully as long as it's not the engine because the engine is like 10 grand in itself and we bought the car for way cheaper than that so as long as it's not the engine guys we are in it and we are gonna try to save this thing and make it an absolute beast i'm so i already have picked out the wrap color like i'm so excited for this car guys i'm so stoked without further ado guys let's go in and get home do some research to see how much the parts are going to cost to actually do all the, the the transmission work if we need to and all the raw bearings if we need to actually we definitely do and guys this is the next morning i'm not expecting a call from bmw so soon i do feel like it's going to be pretty pretty hard to find out unless they can actually diagnose the clutch from an external way i'm not sure but i have a feeling it has something to do with the inner of the transmission something to do with the clutch or the flywheel so hopefully they'll be able to figure out just tell me what it is exactly if it's a fuel pump we are balling out that's gonna be awesome we just replace the fuel pump we'll be good to go but if it's not the fuel pump then uh yeah so i was doing some research last night on the rod bearings and uh it's it's pretty expensive so for some ve bearings i'm looking at about six hundred dollars uh for for the s85 and then also for arp bolts um, i'm looking for the 600 right there and then for the oil pan gasket and a couple other things uh, like some o-rings and stuff like that the bolts the oil i'm looking at about probably around 1400 just parts um, that's not including labor. And then when, after talking to SSR Performance, they told us when we actually go in there to replace all those things, they do recommend some other things to get done as well. Because we're already in there. They're like, you might as well get the rest of the stuff done to make this thing like an absolute beast and not have any issues. So at SSR, they're saying they also no, they also recommend doing the oil pump and uh, the squirters and the Vanoss lines. Reason being, they said that these pieces are like pretty much they're essentials. They can end up getting clogged up. Some of them can go bad. And you pretty much have to do all that work again just to actually just get to those pieces. So 
this is why we're in there just get all those things replaced and just underneath the car in general like the van I believe the the the, the van oil oil line you can just get it up from the outside but again all preventative maintenance pieces I don't know how many van house oil lines we need uh, but if it is a van house oil pressure supply line I don't know if we only need one of those but each one's like $200 and then the squirters are about $200 a piece so yeah that adds up real quick and then the oil pump is an additional like $150 so that being said we're looking at about $2,000 to $2,200 all set in stone um, just parts I don't know how much labor is I'm gonna have to reach out to SSR and hope they can hook a brother up you know what I mean <laughs> we are gonna make a trip out of this thing so hopefully we'll be able to get our truck or F-150 that we rebuilt and then get a U-Haul trailer get the M5 on the trailer and then go across California and get the work done at SSR probably makes a kind of trip down there and just enjoy the trip uh, record a vlog me and my girl or something and at the same time all the work getting done on the M5 is just showing you guys how perfect it is I'm also gonna try to fix every single oil leak on there because I want to make it an absolute perfect beast so if that even means rear main seal oil pan valve covers we're doing it all so I'll let you guys know once we actually hear the news from BMW and see whether or not it's a major issue it's a minor issue the transmission or possibly even an engine we'll find out guys I'll keep you guys posted hopefully in the next video but without further ado guys I love y'all so much remember to stay humble I'll see you guys in the next one peace out and don't forget to cop some merch guys we always support your boy we also have some save the manuals and all those kinds of cool decals I'm gonna be releasing some shirts pretty soon but you know support your man merch down below please thank you love y'all so much